the children away, you took the children away. For some, they're memories that will never go away. The state-sanctioned removal of children until as late as the 1960s, continuing to impact thousands around the country. Today, the themes of reflection and healing reverberated around subdued ceremonies like this one. For Auntie Cleone Quayle, who says she was abused in foster care, the trauma remains. It's taken my whole life to heal. You know, I, I hate it when we've been asked to forgive or to get over it or to move on. Um, often you have to unlearn learnt behaviour. First Nations people have come out at events like this one around the country, many of them among the more than 30,000 survivors of the Stolen Generations. 25 years after the Bringing Them Home report, the lessons for the next generation are just as important. Students invited to listen in Perth. In Melbourne, culture was maintained through dance while in Darwin, elders came together to share their stories. I live with it all my life. It's, it's like a disease, I just cannot get rid of it. Nothing will ever make up for it, but at least they are saying that they, a wrong was done to us through no other fault except the colour of our skin. Today also marks five years since 250 Indigenous delegates gathered to endorse the Uluru Statement from the Heart, a landmark document laying the roadmap for constitutional recognition and a voice to Parliament. The Labor Party, of course, is fully accepting of all of the elements of the Uluru Statement. A new government bringing renewed hopes for the healing to continue. Tysok Husey, SBS World News.